what's up and welcome back to my channel so today i'm coming at you with the neon eye green look that i did about a week back you guys or two weeks back you guys were requesting this look like crazy this is probably one of the most requested looks that i have gotten so far um right now i think neon is so in neon is just popping right now everyone wants to do neon so here you have it and yeah if you guys want to know how i did this entire neon look Go ahead and please keep watching. Mwah. because you know we have a lot of hair and we do not want our hair to get in our faces so I'm gonna be taking my Harry Josh clips you guys are always asking me where I get it it's from Harry Josh these are amazing tools and yes this is the one that you can't use this okay we all fancy bishops over here I'm just kidding I really don't care that Kim Kardashian uses the same hair clips as me I needed that. All right, let's go ahead and move in with primer. This is the primer that I'm gonna be using. This is from Milk Makeup. This is the Hydro Grip Primer. I have really, really, really been loving this primer. It's kind of just been like one of my go-tos recently. What I love about it is that it has like this thick texture to it. And then what happens is when you apply it, it gets tacky and sticky which I really like that because anything that's tacky and sticky, your foundation is just going to stick onto it. So I like that. I love the fact that this primer does that. Now we're gonna move in with foundation. So the foundation that I used that day, I used the Beauty Blender foundation, which is popping. And then I also used a little bit of the L'Oreal Infallible. So pretty much what I did and so I took about three pumps. I added the L'Oreal foundation to it. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take my foundation, just a little bit like that. And we're gonna go ahead and just start applying it onto the skin. Now, because we wore an open shirt like this, you want to make sure you just get this area too, pat it down. So for a concealer, I use two different concealers. This is how I like to do my concealer. So see if this works for you. First, I'm taking the Too Faced Four in This Way Concealer. This is just amazing. This is a, it's like a, a little bit of a wider shade. What I like to do is bring it right here and just put it right in this area. Just like that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my um, Tarte Shape Tape. This is light neutral. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to just add a little bit of that out here. This is more of like a neutral and this is more of a little bit more whiter. So it kind of just gives like that effect of it being more natural and then a little bit more bright towards the center of the eye. So I have been loving this. Going in with the Beauty Blender, I'm just going to go ahead and start buffing this part out first. I feel like concealer just brings everything together. I find that Tarte Shape Tape, you know, it dries a lot more faster than the Too Faced Born This Way. And then we're going to go ahead and start blending out the concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and just drag that up here too. Now we're gonna go ahead and just contour our face. I'm gonna be using my Sosu Jackson Contour Stick. We're gonna be using a little bit of that. I'm gonna place it right here, right here. We're gonna place it right here. Just, just to warm up the skin, right there, here. Here, I like to go all in with my lips. And 
I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and warm up our skin. And you'll notice that I'm kind of just like tapping it and bouncing it into the skin versus moving the product around. Because what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go in with a beauty blender and kind of just diffuse everything. And I'm just gonna go ahead and brighten this area up a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and just contour my nose just a little bit. We're gonna do that right there. We're gonna do that right there. Just now we're gonna go in with the show tabs. Now we have some concealer here. What I like to do is I'm just gonna go ahead and just pack on and just re go over all the concealer that I put on my lid and with a little bit of powder that I have left over from the brush I'm just gonna go ahead and go over my lid so that we do not have any creasing in here and now we are ready to go in with eyeshadow first things first though palette that I use to create that neon look is from BH Cosmetics. This is called the Color Festival Palette. It's really pretty and it literally just came out not too long ago. The star of the show is pretty much that shade right here. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take Chick, which is the shade right here. And I'm just going to use that to start off as a transition shade and we're just going to focus that right here just to warm up the eye. Now you're only applying just a little bit. You're not going too heavy because your main focus is just the on green eye. So you literally just want some dimension here. Now this look was so easy to create. You guys are gonna be like, what? That's all she did? Yep, that's literally all I did. It was so easy. I think I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is in the shade white. Only because I really want that color and pigment to really show through. And so on top of white, it will really just pop. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start cutting the crease of the shape of how I want the neon eye to look. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start creating the shape that I want for this eye. What you want to do is make sure you're dragging out the tail so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna start from here first and kind of like you're doing like a wing liner bring it out that way and then just connect it just like that and then what you're gonna do is just fill in that gap so now you have that shape that you want. Now we're gonna go in with the star of the show, which is Haze, which is this really nice kind of like lime green. I'm gonna be taking this brush from BH Cosmetics. This is number seven. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pick that shade up and we're just gonna start packing it onto the white. You guys see that? See how the white Concealer just makes it pop even more. Go back in with this brush and just diffuse anything on the top. So this is your choice, your preference if you want to do a wing. I only did a liner on the top of the lid. I didn't do a wing only because I didn't want to take away from what we had created this nice little shape here. 
So I'm not gonna do a wing eyeliner. I'm just gonna line the top just for our lashes and just to give it a little bit. So I'm using the NYX Cosmetics. This is just the regular matte liquid liner in the shade black. I'm gonna use some black liner. This is the one from Lancome. I can't seem to find my Sigma one, so we're just gonna stick with this one. And we're just gonna only line the top of our lash band. Only the top, because you're gonna keep this completely clear. All right, I'm gonna go in with mascara now, and this is the Montfiori Big from Lancome, which has been kind of like my go these days. I love, love, love this mascara. The lashes that I originally used were from House of Lashes, Iconic Light, but I want to do something a little bit more fluffier. Nothing too crazy though, a little bit more fluffier. I'm going to go in with Lashylicious. This is Fleeky Licious. I love this. It's just a regular, it's just very nice, fluffy, nothing too crazy. Because remember, if you go in with a crazy dramatic lash, you're gonna take away, you're gonna take away the star of the show, which is the neon green. So the lashes are on. What I like to do is just push it up a little bit to go ahead and just open up the lash. So go ahead and just push it up. Now it's time to just go ahead and finish off the face. I'm gonna be using my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. This is a pressed powder I use shade 220, that's natural beige. I go ahead and take some on this brush and then go ahead and just wipe away all of that powder. Next I'm gonna be going in, this is the Benefit Cheek Leaders Palette. It has Tons of really awesome stuff in here. It has the Hula bronzer, the Dallas blush, the Tickle highlighter. It just has everything in here. So what I'm gonna do is just take the Hula bronzer. We're gonna just use this to warm up the skin. I'm gonna go in with blush. I'm gonna use California and a little bit of dandelion to go ahead and just flush the cheek. And I'm gonna add a little bit of blush in this area because I just like how it makes my skin look flush. And the setting spray is pretty much just gonna put everything together. For lips, I'm gonna be taking the NYX Cosmetic Sandstorm Lip Liner. Notice how I left the contour on there, right? Just go ahead and buff it out a little bit with a blender. And we're gonna go ahead and just start lining our lips. I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay Naked Lipstick. A little bit of gloss, this is from Frankie Rose in Sugar. For highlight, I'm gonna be using the Amrezy slash Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter on a dual fiber brush. We're just gonna go ahead and just swipe that on our skin. Lower bottom lash line. And that was the look that we pretty much did. The only difference on this look was that I used different eyelashes because I didn't have the eyelashes that I used the first time. So yeah, this is pretty much the look, you guys. You guys have, were requesting this neon eye, so here you have it. 
I hope you guys really did enjoy this video. I know I wasn't able to like talk as much. I was truly trying to focus on the eye. But yeah, I hope you guys overall just loved the video. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm going to be posting a lot more videos. I always say this in my videos, but you know, you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I love this look. This is just so like, you look so extra. You know what I'm saying? Just, you just look good. You look good. You look extra. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you. Bye.